Steve, it was pretty interesting that we had the fireworks going off and then we had nature's fireworks going off with <laughs> lightning and thunder all and simultaneously. It was beautiful. It, it was. was absolutely it was pretty cool. And we lucked out that the storms moved out just in time for the fireworks to start. Speaking of fireworks, do you ever wonder what the weather was like in Philadelphia on the 4th of July, 1776, as they were signing the we Declaration. Know. Well, Thomas Jefferson actually wrote it down. An amazing man in many aspects. This is his weather log for Philadelphia that day. At uh, 6 a.m., it was 68 degrees. At 9 a.m., a little over 72. 1 o'clock, the high was about 76. And by this time at night, 73. So I would imagine it would be great to have weather like that over the Sun Coast today, but it was not. It was really sultry and warm. And this is our Casey Key webcam showing the storms go by. And even after the sun went down, you can see the flashes of lightning out there as those storms that kind of dampen, dampen the early part of the festivities were still flashing out over the Gulf, but now they're way out there. High temperatures over the state. The official hot spot was Tallahassee with 97, but it was hot all up and down. The Gulf Coast, Sun Coast especially, are high 92 at Sarasota, 90 at Venice, Inglewood 90, as warm as 97 inland in Highlands County. And across uh, the region, here are those thunderstorms, and they just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> About 745, just emerged right here and moved over the uh, coast where all the fireworks displays were about to happen. And it looked a little troublesome for a while there, but they did move out just in time for that to begin. A close look, you can see how they blanketed Sarasota Bay. Uh, most of Siesta Key and part the southern end of Longboat Key, but they are now moving way out into the Gulf of Mexico and should not be a factor for the balance of tonight. Let's look at the Atlantic and our tropical weather outlook. This is Invest 94L. It's a tropical wave that has blown off the coast of Africa and now in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The Hurricane Center believes it has an 80% chance of developing in the next five days, 70% chance of developing in the next two days, but as early as tomorrow it could become a named storm or at least a tropical depression. The Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico are still very quiet. Garden variety thunder showers in the western Caribbean, and we're seeing the Gulf mainly clear. Three areas of interest in the Pacific, one, two, and three. This one could be a name storm by this time tomorrow. It has an 80% chance of developing. Now, let's take a look at that uh, tropical wave in the middle of the Atlantic on the GFS model of pressure and wind. And it's having a hard time, this model shows it having a hard time getting organized over the next week. Bob Harrigan and John Scalzi will watch it very closely, but each model run is becoming less uh, impressive in its intensity, but its path is shifting north and south. So there's a lot of uncertainty, and it's still a week away, over a week away, actually, from having any potential threat to North America. Well, high pressure is moving to the north. I think that's going to allow more of the Atlantic sea breeze to move across the state and give us some afternoon relief, as indicated by the case tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And again on Thursday afternoon, a chance of those showers and thunder showers moving over us. If you're going out on the Gulf tomorrow, uh, weather should have calmed down by then with those storms moving away. Southeast winds in the morning, westerly 5 to 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet or less, and only a light chop on Bay and inland waters. It is going to be hot. It's going to feel hotter than 90 in the air, and the water temperature 90 with a UV index of 11. So here's my forecast for tonight. Now that the storms are gone, it'll be partly cloudy and warm with winds from the southeast 5 miles an hour, a low temperature 77. And here's our 7-day outlook. That chance of rain stays only about 30% for the next two days, and then Friday and Saturday and Sunday, it looks like we'll bump those chances up to about 50 or 60% and stay that way in the early part of next week. What a fabulous 4th of July. I hope you got outdoors and enjoyed it. We had some spectacular fireworks, man-made and from Mother Nature.